previously on Dragon Quest Builders. It is almost time guys, I am super excited for this. Oh my god, oh my god, he's here. It seems the day of judgement is upon us, oh god. Die fiend, oh my god, what's happening to the villagers? What the hell is going on? <gasps> Golem, the brick and mortar slaughterer. Okay, it's time, it's time to do this. Hello and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. We had just killed the golem. It was such an awesome fight and he dropped some kind of coin. I think that's a coin. Tarnished token. Oh, that sounds cool. My base is destroyed. It's gone. <laughs> There's nothing left. Legendary item. The long lost mark of a hero of legend brings back the light to the skies above Cantlin. Awesome. Apart from my base is completely annihilated. <laughs> oh, does it go back to normal? Oh no, it doesn't. Look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. My doorway has come back and the spikes around has all come back and everything, but <laughs> he really destroyed like so much of the base. It's quite funny. Okay. By my shiny white teeth, you did it, Morty. You slew the golem. The city of Canton is saved and it's all because of you. Thank you, Morty. Thank you. Hmm? Where did that rusted medal you're holding come from? Could, 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 it, could it be the legendary? Restore that emblem. How do I restore it? Do I just use it? What do I do? Restore. Maybe I have to build something. Although my workstation... Is my workstation here? <laughs> um, sort of. <laughs> I don't even know where anything is. Let's see what the slime has to say about everything that just happened. Hey slime, did you know that slimes could open doors? That was fantastic, Malkti. You destroyed that enormous golem. Laroche told me about the golem. He said that the people of Cantlin built it to protect the city from the monsters. You hardly ever hear golem speak, but I thought I heard that one say something before it disappeared. Oh, did it? It said that's all it ever wanted was for everyone to live to Guva in peace and harmony. In its heart of hearts, I think that Gulam wanted to live alongside the humans again, just like it oozed to. Bless him. Okay, how do we fix this? Guessing we're gonna need to put down the workstation. Ah, here we go. So we need steel ingots and these Orchulum stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go and grab this and then we'll make this a little thing because I don't actually have the materials right now. Bombs away! Alright guys, I've collected enough Orchulum. I had to go and like blow some stuff up and yeah, now we can repair and restore this thing and hopefully the skies aren't gonna be so grey and dark and black and horrible. So this is awesome. So I've made it. We've got the shiny coin. We've got a shiny coin. Okay, what does Rolo want to say about it? Marvellous work. By my soft and slender fingers, you've done it. You've restored the ancient emblem. This should be all we need to disperse the oppressive darkness that hangs over Cantlin. Quickly, Mulsi, go to your banner of hope and offer the emblem to the skies. Awesome! We've done it, guys! We've finally done it! We've finally made it! Let's do it! Let's offer this to the sky! Yeah! What's she doing? <laughs> She's like doing a really weird pose. Okay, here we go. Here she goes. Yeah, here it goes. A coin into the sky. Who would have thought a big coin could restore the sky to its former glory? Here it goes. This is so cool. I hope every chapter is as in-depth as this one because this has just been an amazing journey. I loved this chapter so much. Look at that. Although our base is quite destroyed, it is so cool. Look at that, it's beautiful again, yeah! The light returns to Cantlin. Awesome! Yeah! Multi, my child, you have done well. Oh, is this Rubis? This land has been freed from the Dragon Lord's evil influence and its people can now rebuild it by their own power. But do not forget, my child. There are so many other people in this world who still need your help. There are? By my big round head. <laughs> look, Malty, look. The sky is so bright. It's so big and blue and beautiful. It sure is, Rolo. That night, the people of Cantlin hold a banquet to celebrate the return of the light and to thank Malty for her heroic efforts. With the city still suffering from the recent monster attacks, 
the celebrations aren't exactly extravagant and the spread is only simple. But even so, the smiles and the laughter last long into the night. Then morning comes. Is something bad going to happen in the morning? Wahahaha! <laughs> so you've finally woken up, have you, Multi? I laughed so hard last night, I thought my sides might burst. Who would ever have thought La Roche had such a wicked sense of humour? Yeah, like a dark sense of humour, yeah? And when I tried Pippa's cooking, well, I thank my lucky stars that I survived the first spoonful. <laughs> By the way, Multi, late last night I saw a strange pillar of lights rising into the sky over the eastern mountains. I wouldn't be surprised if there was something interesting going on over there. Perhaps you might want to head over and take a look. Uh, oh, of course, you don't have to go if you don't want to. I just thought you might be interested, that's all. What you do with yourself from now on is entirely up to you. Okay, where is it? Where, where do we go? Over here, I think this is us now saying goodbye to the base. Is This is us saying goodbye to Rolo, to Pippa, to Multiville, even though it's damaged now. But I think we're saying goodbye. We're moving on. We're going into somewhere else. It's sad, but look how beautiful the sky is. We've done a good job here, guys. Yeah, we're going to head over here to the beam of light, wherever it is. Somewhere this way. Okay, guys, are you ready? I am near the beam of light. I did get a bit lost. I didn't know where to go. I was looking around for ages, just running around like a headless chicken. I was, like, following the markers on the map. I was following the yellow symbol and then I started following the yellow flag anyway it was all so confusing but I think I found where it is I can see a big beam of light coming down from the sky so I'm guessing that's where we need to go so here it is oh this is exciting I'm gonna be so sad to leave Multiville behind Multi my child the light you see before you is a portal to the next land you must free from the dragon lord's curse Oh my god, we're going to a new land. The items, the knowledge, and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through the portal of light, you will lose everything. No, I don't want to lose everything. But multi, my child, should it still be your will to rid this world of darkness, I bid you to step into this swirling vortex without fear or regret, and be safe in the knowledge that I do watch over you always. Thank you, Rubis. I guess that's one good thing. We'll have Rubis there, hopefully, although he doesn't talk much, does he? Are you sure you want to leave this land behind and travel to the next island? Oh, we're leaving. Goodbye, Multiville. Goodbye, all my villagers. Oh, hello, Roly. So, Multi, you are leaving us. I had a feeling this might happen. Aww. Could you not just stay a little longer to help us finish rebuilding Cantlin to its former glory, please? <laughs> no, forget I said that. I was being selfish. Oh, I don't want to leave either. Multi, my girl, you made me realise something. Come through the portal with me, Roly. Restoring Cantlin to its former glory is not a matter of building walls and towers, but of building bonds of true friendship between our fellow townspeople. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it. Ah, that sounds more like Rolo. No matter how grave the occasion, I just can't make a soppy speech like that. Go on, my girl, step into the light. Go on, my girl. <laughs> there are many places in this world that need your help far more than we do. This is true. Ah, I almost forgot something very important. Ooh, what could it be? There's something that Pippa insisted I give you. Oh no. Though you may lose everything else on your way through the portal, if you clutch this gift tight enough, I'm sure it will make it to your destination, as long as it's not food. Farewell, Multi. May we meet again someday. Ha 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 because he was awesome. I really like the pillars outside here. I should have used these for my base. I didn't know these were over here. <laughs> so here we go, guys. We are ending the chapter. Oh, here we go. Here's our results. So it took 262 days to complete it. We got 10 deaths, 87 recipes learned. I used the crafting station 1,620 times. That is a lot of times. You can now build stone furniture in terra incognita. Oh, nice. Cool. I think that's free build mode. Okay, we defeated the three dragons so we can build display stands. Cool. 
Did we do anything else? I think we did some more stuff. The other one was for building your base to level 5. And we repaired the Hammerhead's graveyard so we can now build Featherfall footwear. That will be really helpful actually. So that's really cool. Okay, what was the last thing on the stats? We did miss two challenges. We didn't complete the chapter within 20 days. And we didn't build a cancelling garden it seems. So the Hammerhead garden must be different from the cancelling garden. And um, I took my time so we didn't do the days. And I got 217 items. That was the bottom one on the stats. Okay, cool. So we have now unlocked chapter two. Rimmeldar has been unlocked. Ooh, okay. An island in eastern Alfgard where a town once stood, surrounded by a crystal clear lake. Cool, that sounds awesome. Let's, I can't wait to start that. That's gonna be really fun. So chapter one cancelling has like a little medal. I wonder if the medal changes if you do all the challenges. Mine looks like it's kind of silver. Maybe if you do all of them, it turns into gold. I don't know. So we've unlocked Terra Incognita, which is free build mode. And as you can imagine, I am super stoked to play that. I love building. I actually can't wait to share my builds with you guys. It's going to be awesome. I have a little idea of a little mini series that I want to do on free build mode as well. So that's going to be awesome. But I will talk more about that another time. So that's it for today, guys. I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.